TICREP project explored co-creation-based learning. This study looked at options for how to organize co-creation pedagogy in higher education and used Lut University in Finland as a case. The results were presented at a research in entrepreneurship and small business conference in November 2022. Business schools have traditionally thought entrepreneurship as a separate program and focused on outcomes of entrepreneurship, namely founding and running a venture. Teaching entrepreneurship has focused on the individualistic view of entrepreneurship, we may call it an about entrepreneurship approach and applied traditional pedagogical approaches. However, the emergence of an entrepreneurial mindset has extended entrepreneurship beyond business schools. Novel pedagogical approaches enable cross-disciplinary collaboration that is needed to solve complex issues in today's business world. Nowadays, co-creation is a central idea in entrepreneurship education. Value co-creation in general refers to collaboration between different stakeholders. In higher education, value co-creation is defined as something between student engagement and partnership and it focuses on student empowerment. Co-creation is beneficial when it has an impact such as innovation, knowledge and relational value. It is always connected to the environment it occurs. A normal situation is that co-creation takes place in a single course in university. Students may co-create with their peers and teachers, but also with external parties such as mentors, industry representatives or individuals from other organizations. However, co-creation can be extended to different partners, locations and practices, varying in educational environment, duration and number of involved parties. The outcome of co-creation is important not only as ends and means of learning, but also as a contribution to society. We are involved in a prototype laboratory called J. Heinemann Center, which is targeted to all LUT Group students, but governed by LUT Business School. Besides technical prototypes, things related to innovations and entrepreneurship are essential. We noticed that there is one thing limiting students' opportunities to create competitive innovations. It can be called one course time trap. In educational institutes, studies are divided into courses. The duration of one course is limited and usually all activities stop at the end of the course, when grades and credits have been given and received. However, it usually takes more time to develop an innovation to majority. To solve this problem, we started thinking about if there were different possibilities for organizing co-creation. The research applies a qualitative multiple case study approach to examine different co-creation processes within a higher education institution in Finland during 2021 to 2022. Each case was first identified through course and assignment descriptions. Then responsible teachers of each course were interviewed. The data was collected either by using semi-structured interviews or by the written stories. It includes interviews with responsible teachers with different course modules, as well as other written materials, including class and assignment descriptions. The data was analyzed using content analyses. The results show that co-creation can take place in different learning contexts and environments. Students may co-create within one or several courses, simultaneously or in consecutive courses. A certain environment, physical or virtual, or a large project platform can also connect projects, courses and people and give opportunities to co-create not only planned tasks, but also something bigger. However, the more actors and different schedules are involved, 
the more advanced and facilitated form of co-creation is required. You can see an example of such a platform project in, a, in the photo here. The motorbike was built by students, for example, from mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, marketing and art. Simplest and the most common way for collaboration is to work on one idea within a single course for the duration of the course. There is a clear purpose for co-creation with a start and end to a co-creation project. Course participants can be from several universities and disciplines and there could also be partners such as mentors from the industry involved. Here is an example of a different co-creation model where students are working on one idea or assignment during several courses. After completion of one course, the subject or assignment is continued in the next course. An example, the whole is made up of three courses, basic studies in research methodology, laboratory work course in the corporate environment and finally thesis seminar course. Separate courses can also be integrated and run simultaneously, which allows interdisciplinary student teams to work on ideas, even though students will get their credits from separate courses. Here, the timeline for co-creation is limited, but number of parties involved increases. Again, the purpose for co-creation is clear with a start and end to a project. An example is a course combination involving both engineering and business studies, students, to model an artificial industrial environment and build virtual company to experience real-world business problems. An environment may be a co-creation arrangement. For example, a prototyping laboratory or equivalent facility may connect different projects, courses and people. There may be a specific timeline, but often co-creation in this stage varies in duration and the number of parties involved over time, which gives depth to the co-creation. There could be a platform project including several course assignments, as well as theses from different study fields. That kind of arrangement supports especially complicated multidisciplinary projects that may last several years, which makes the co-creation also deeper. Co-creation can also take place in virtual forms. It can be implemented digitally in virtual meetings, courses or immersive rooms, either by using devices that allow image, sound or even motion to be transmitted without traveling, such as a telepresence avatar robots. In addition, online learning platforms offer a place for synchronous and asynchronous learning and co-creating. An example is a platform for visualizing design thinking methodology, where students learn via playing and designing games, which was created in t projects. Contemporary entrepreneurship education is based on experiential learning pedagogies in which collaborative learning is the important part and solving complex and messy real-world problems requires multidisciplinary teams. It is possible to utilize co-creation in many ways at the university. Prolonging the time of, of co-creation, increasing the number of contacts and the intensity of discussion, and optimizing the number and nature of participants have an effect on the outcome. These all highlight the fact that co-creation can take place at many other levels, in addition to a single course. It is worth noticing that experiential team-based learning is very student-centered and self-directed, putting students responsible for their own learning. Additionally, co-creation always involves two or more parties and thus group chemistries come into play. Therefore, a feeling of psychological safety together with team learning has an impact on group performance. To summarize, co-creation can foster value creation in learning and value creation in form of new ideas and things. 
In the future, it would be interesting to study what kind of co-creation structures in universities produce the greatest values for companies and what kind of influence the variance in duration, partners and iterations of co-creation has on that value. Thank you for your attention. If you are interested to know more, please contact the authors.